Hello everyone and welcome back to Nancy Drew, the Phantom Venice. Uh, so what did we just do? I haven't played for a while. Oh, I haven't completed my task list yet. That'll tell me what to do. Prudence rather prefer to call. I done that. Oh, okay. Take a good look around the room, suits in the parcel. All done. Talk to Marcy. All done. So the Berg went to the ATM. All done. Did that. Wait for the police to page me. Get a hairpin so I can pick the lock on Fongo's office. Keep watching Fongo until he done. does something suspicious. And then you should have Still a hairpin. Have to do that. I think you might get that from Helena's desk. I need to report that Fongo and the pigeon thing to my police contact. Go to the costume, find the tracking All device. Done. Sneak into Fongo's office, get a hairpin, and call Prudence. Okay, well, I suppose I can probably call Prudence. Oh, wait, we don't have a phone in this game, do we? Fuck. I forgot we don't have a cell phone. What a piss off. So, what's going on? Colin sucks. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Give me a hairpin. Like Any time. Oh, where's the phone? Where's the phone? Hello, Nancy. I'll let you get back to work. Drop by again. Well, I will be sure not to do that. Where is the phone? Is it in here? Oh, there we go. It's probably Ned. Hello. Hello, is this Nancy? Miss Rutherford, yes, it's Nancy. How are you? Oh. But to be honest, I'm rather peeved. Were you or were you not to call me just as soon as you were settled in there at the call? I'm busy. I'm sorry, I should have called. But I've been very busy. And I've been very worried. I was afraid... <laughs> sorry, Prudence. I had other things to do. The car is fine. The car is a hole in the ground now. This homeless bum's just fucking cruising around the area. It's like a post-apocalyptic landscape. Ugh. How do you have a fucking link to the GDIF? Aren't you like an art like connoisseur or something? Like, how do you have a link to the Italian FBI? And I'll do my best. But it's not like I'm a superhero or anything. Like I told you, I'm a teenage girl who doesn't speak Italian. How much can you really expect out of me? I get the feeling Margarita is not real happy about my staying here at the car. What give you that impression? Tough titty. That you know, you know the person that wrote that line wanted to write that is just tough titty. Because it sounds so better, so much better. Especially coming from like fucking 80 year old Prudence Rutherford just drops that on the phone. Well, that's just tough titty. Nancy's like, what the fuck? Where did this come from, Prudence? Just what have you done for her? I made the mistake of helping her pay for some of the repairs that reared their ugly little heads after I Gross. sold her the car. I did so not because of any legal obligation, but because of my abiding affection for the place and all things Venetian. Mm -hmm. She's such a cheapskate. I feared she would ignore what had to be done until the car crumbled into ruins. How did she get to be such a cheapskate? Because she's got money. When her husband died, he left Margarita everything, which amounted to a small fortune. What he didn't leave her, however, was even the slightest clue as to what to do with it. Gross. And now, after years of bad investments and wasteful spending, she's starting to feel the pinch. She just ruined all of her husband's finances. Depressing. There in Venezia that must pay the price for her fiscal ineptitude. I'll let you get back to whatever it is you're doing. Why don't you At kick her out? I'm writing my memoirs. They shall be called The Principles of Prudence. Oh, God. Unfortunately, this has necessitated my hiring an assistant. You really must stop thinking bad thoughts about Ginger. Yes, you are. Just look how she's shaking. The other day, poor Ginger mistook the shapeless lump of leather my assistant called her purse for a doggy toy and ripped it to shreds. She's still a bit perturbed. Although, believe you me, Ginger did her a massive favor. Did you buy her a anyway, new purse? If you ever cannot reach me, it means we are hard at work. The bun shones. Terrible. Why do I have to interact with these people? Why does she fucking... Why can't she buy her a purse? Buy her a new purse and this whole thing would be solved. 
Man, I really want there to be a point in the game where Nancy just takes a fucking header into the into the canals. Be pretty funny. Oh god, what is this? Oh dear god. Why? Are they gross? Hmm, interesting flavor. Uh oh. Do I have to go take a shit? I need a bobby pin. Hmm. Am I supposed to... Is that supposed to be, like, her writing? I need my German dictionary. Well, just translate it. Christ. Mom well, and Dad, Venice is so beautiful. I'm enjoying Carnival, but haven't yet bought my costume. I'm thinking of dressing up as a cat. Much love, Helena Berg. From Deutschland! This is obviously a completely fake address. Greeting from Venice. The weather is wonderful. I'm thinking of you. I found a lovely car. You and Frederick can stay here when you come over next month. Helena. Okay, where's a bobby pin? I, that's not a bobby pin. I think this one's English. The Killian family. Raid her purse for bobby pins. Okay, I guess we just can't. Do I have something in my suitcase? What's over here? It's too early to go to bed. Don't tell me what to fucking do. Midday naps are the best kind of naps. Better shit out those sausages that I'm someone sure gave us. Oh boy. Is this a reference to somebody? Like, should I get that? Should I get what is is being referenced in the toilet? Maybe she's watching YouTube in there. Do I have a bobby pin in here? Oh, perfect. Well, there we go. Okay. Ugh, I'm not feeling so good. I just took a shit. Are you all right? Oh my gosh, you're positively clean, Nancy. Ugh. Colin, you killed me, you fuckhead. I should never have eaten those sausages. Oh, I should so not have eaten those sausages. Is it still the same day, or did I sleep the night away? Interesting. Still seems like day. I'm not dead, everybody. I'm okay. Call and use the sausages. I've been worried about you. How are you feeling? A little angry, actually. Those sausages you left in my room gave me food poisoning. You piece of shit. What, what sausages? I didn't leave sausages in your room. The note they came with said. I do have a sausage for well, you, though. Someone else must have written it and signed my name because I promise you, I did not leave any sausages or any note in your room. Besides, you don't think someone would give you tainted sausages on purpose, do you? I guess it could have been just an accident. Of course it was. I should you be seem ready. awfully quick no. to jump to that conclusion, Colin. Colin, I didn't leave any sausages. I do have a sausage, though. Would you like sausages? You certainly look better than the last time I saw you. What happened? I made the mistake of eating the sausages that someone left for me. Apparently they were as nasty as they looked. <laughs> Helena's still? like, why would you do such a thing? Who would have left sausages for you? The note that was with them said they were from Colin. Colin? You'd think someone who can see a flaw in a tiny little tile from three meters away would be able to pick out decent sausages. He says it wasn't him. He says someone else wrote that note and left the sausages for me. Why would someone do that? He probably just doesn't want to... What do they always say in the movies? Cop to it. Anyway, the good news is, whatever was in those sausages uh. didn't do you any permanent harm. You're back to your cute, spunky teenage self. I'll come back Kay. later, okay? <laughs> Tschüss! You don't get over food poisoning in like 20 minutes. That's not what happens. If she actually got food poisoning, she would have been fucking dead, like, for, like, an entire weekend. Oh, I see. This looks pretty, pretty close. The tease, actually. Dear Estella, thank you so much for inviting me to your party last week. What a grand event. It was an honor to have been seated next to Count Wurzberger. Although his breath was quite fragrant and took some getting used to. 
I'm sure you were unaware of this unfortunate problem when you made the seating assignments. I look forward to seeing you at the reception for the Redonian Ambassador. Very truly yours, Margarita Faubourg. Okay. What's Fongo doing? Can I look at him again, or...? I guess not. We got fucking bees again. Gotta deal with that two fucking games in a row. Okay, so Fongo's out of his office, so I think we can go and pick the lock. Ooh, Colin's gone. Is there anything I can look at here? Religious Relics of Venice, property of Colin Baxter. What's this? The handwriting on this envelope is the same as the handwriting on the note that came with the sausages, which means Colin sent them. <laughs> all this rigmarole, and it was Colin all along. Private viewing of the chalice of Shane Gervais, January 18th. Mrs. G Fucking Colin. God, this guy's such a loser. Oh, man. What a prick. Colin so, did send me those on? sausages. Thanks for taking the time to talk to me. Come back anytime. I think we should just start, like, a bunch of shit rumors about Colin in here. He's, he tried to fucking kill me. With his shit sausages. Fuck you, Colin. You garbage individual. Okay, let's see if we can feed this stupid thing to a pigeon. Or something. Nothing else to look at out here. Let's pick the lock. Oh shit. I'm gonna guess we need to get all of these up. To their maximum position. No. Okay, I should have it now. No. Which one is not right? Are we supposed to have all of them down? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, you're probably supposed to have them all at the, the lines that they're supposed to be at. I see. I see what's happening. There we go. Gotcha! What do we got in here? Okay, figure that out, I guess. University does something, something. University of Bologna. Recommendation is conferred upon Tony Fungo, the Masters of Computer Science, 2003. Good for him. Antonio Fungo. Something in his hat I can look at. He's got a bunch of paperwork over here, a bunch of brochures. I need to translate this. You know what they are, Nancy, for fuck's sakes. The travel documents. Man. He's got a coffee machine. He's got a bunch of binary code. I really hope you don't have to translate that at any time in this game. Looks like some cards are missing. Main cards are gone. It's up here. Why would he have this in his office? Interesting. It's the same one from uh, Secret of the Old Clock, I think, right? Okay. Well, let's feed it. He's probably going to come in as soon as I feed the pigeon, though. So maybe I'll look around somewhere. Get out of here. The password is unfortunately not Bob Sagat. Depressing. Okay, so I don't know the password for that yet. 
It's got a little fish. Oh, here we go. Il Capitano. This is what that looks like. Nice. He's got trash and chess. Chess log. Hello, your Capitano. How about a nice game of chess? You play white. I found a similar game once in the trash can outside your office. That doesn't sound suspicious at all. So it looks like this is maybe how they're communicating. Hello, little Capitano. How about I just give a chess? You play white. Actually, I want to let you know my friend Brigel will be playing you from now on. He's a much better player than I. Please continue to touch my account, though. As you wish. Airline cancellation. I need my Italian dictionary. Yeah, just pull it out and deal with it. The following airline reservation has been cancelled. Two adults, one way departure, Venice, Italy to Aruba. Please allow us to make your desk. So it looks like he maybe wants out. What a nice game of chess to play white. This is my first time, but a friend recommends me to your esteemed establishment. Wonderful. Please supply me with your mailing address for billings. What chess notation do you prefer to use? Grandmaster, I understand, but I prefer standard algebraic. Whenever you want to quit, close the game screen. Fine, I'll start. Wonderful game. Perhaps we can meet in person to play. Meet outside the newspaper kiosk at San Marco tomorrow. Thank you. Yeah, this looks suspicious as fuck. Uh, two adults, one way departure, Venice to Tahiti. Please allow us to make your next dream vacation. So it sounds like he wants out. Genus test board is temporarily closed for maintenance. And it sounds like they're maybe talking through the chess game. Because that was suspicious as fuck. Oh shit, I need some bird seed. Oh, thank god I got some. Eat it. Thank god for that. Claudio, I like to win article of Sujan. Oh my gosh, Bongo's coming back! Oh my fuck! Get your ass in the closet. I'm watching you, Fongo, with your coffee. Like, he wouldn't see an, a pair of eyes staring at him from his fucking cabinet. Bullshit. I call bullshit. Can I just burst out of here? I want to just fucking kick these doors open and just be like, Fongo, I'm here. Okay. That was probably supposed to tell me to look at that, I guess. I don't think he gave anything to the pigeon yet. Maybe? Ah, fucking hell. I should have just, like, sat outside and waited to see. I don't think I've ever actually been caught by him. There is a fax machine. Okay, well, the pigeon is fed. Oh, I see. It's in Campo San Marguerite. Oh my god. Is that money? Nice. That's oh. not the one. How the hell? Nope. Wrong bird. Are you kidding me? Wrong bird. How am I supposed to know? I wonder what this says in English. Something about chess, I'm gonna assume. The House of Games. Okay, I guess we're not getting in here. See from the way you are dressed, you are American. Who are you? Uh, my name is Nancy Drew. This is a private club. You cannot come in. Sorry. I'm a tourist. Let me in, please. Oh shit! We got a code on the dumpster. Propano. Oh, where's Hank Hill when you need him? 
Gross. 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 Oh shit! Justin Matthias Beaumont, aka Colin Baxter. Born in Oxford, England, to graduate from the University of Oxford with a Bachelor of Fine Arts. I really wish those people would shut the fuck up in the background. While painting a fresco at the country home of Jonas Lundquist, October 2004, Beaumont stole a painting by Mer Renoir worth £7,500 from Lundquist's private collection. The painting was recovered. Beaumont pleaded guilty, served one year at Asheville Prison, moved to Venice, Italy in 2006. Works as a private contractor, creating and restoring frescoes and mosaics. Seen on at least one occasion playing cards with Pietro Mazzola, a black market art dealer with ties to former Macchiano theft ring. To date, no other known fractures. Is there anything else to look at in here? Apparently. Sis. Signor Tazza, we have received your request for a temporary employee and recommend our star people, Samantha Quick. I understand you are currently involved in a project and will therefore send her your way sometime after Carnavale. So that you may recognize her, Samantha will be wearing a red dress, white gloves, black sunglasses, and has blonde hair. We will send you details on our Swiss account for payment at a later date. Looks like that's it. Been digging in the garbage is enough. Okay, it's down here, I guess. The Piazza, I bet it's at the Piazza San Marco. How are we supposed to know, like, what the fuck bird this is? Like, are you kidding me? Is there any way to tell, or is it just random guesswork? Because I don't fucking know. Did she write something down? Okay, there we go. From what I heard while I was hiding, it sounded like Congo attached a message to that chain pigeon and released it. As I recall, the pigeon had a green sheen on its neck, one stripe on its wing, and yellow legs. Green neck... One stripe, yellow legs. This guy. Gotcha. There we go. Give me your. What kind of message is that? I better call Sophia. Get out of here, you fucking rats! Be gone. Nancy, you have tracked the pigeon. After it left Fongos, it flew to Campo Santa Margarita. It landed right next to this place called Casa de Giochi. Casa de Giochi. You are sure? Yeah. Is something wrong? Casa de Giochi is a private club owned by Enrico Tazza. Enrico Tazza! Fence is stolen good for big criminals like oh. Leo Macchiano. What a shit. Congo is working for the Phantom. Perhaps Tazza is working for him too. Look around the Casa de Giochi, Nancy. Talk to Tazza if you can. Get on his good side. See how much you can find out without making him suspicious. Was the pigeon carrying a message? Yes, but all it says is hello in English. Maybe, maybe Fongo's just a really friendly guy. Hmm. There is a dot at the bottom of this exclamation point. Yeah? You must find a microscope and examine this dot, Nancy. If Fongo was sending a message to Tatsa, maybe it's hidden there. Holy shit. A microdot, of course. I'll do that. I'll find a microscope and take a look at it. If I do not hear from you, you will hear from me. Good shit. Making progress. Uh, I don't think we need pigeon food anymore. Can I take more money out of the ATM? I need a card. No. Depressing. Okay, where's the costume shop? Because I think I gotta buy costumes to pretend I'm Samantha Quick, if I remember right. Is it Campo San Paolo or the Rialto Market? We'll find out. What do we got here? What is this place? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's this horrible thing. There's nothing I can take I from here. Without my costume. Where's my costume? Ah, I'll do it one more time. Just for the absurdity of it all. It's a weird icon. Okay, what do we got here? 
The monkey is the fuzzy bell. Claps is the cheer. Okay. Buzzer's the robot. The laser is the twist. Okay. I can't dance without my costume. Where's your costume? Do you have to buy it? Ugh, oh, fuck me. Are you serious? God damn it. Where's my costume? Do I have to buy it? Because that's some bullshit. What's here? No, that's definitely not it. I think this is maybe the costumes? No. God damn it. Money, money, money. wonder what this says in English. There's recycling. There's a beer. Can I just drink some beers? Oh, God. I'll do them once just to hear, like, what a good guy is supposed to sound like. Lastro d'argento. Still doesn't sound very good. Lachi di londa. Prospero il vento. Venite all'agile. Parchetta mia. Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. Hey, I've been to the top of that tower actually. When I was in Venice, we were up there. It was really cold when I was there, though. Like, got to like four degrees Celsius at night. Fucking freezing. It was not worth my $15, but sure. There we go. Here's what I'm looking at. Okay, well, where's my costume? Whatever, we'll buy the Samantha Quick costume here. It's not the one I'm looking at. Really? You can't just translate it once and be done. Red dress, white gloves, black sunglasses, and has blonde hair. Jesus. White gloves. Watch my money just disappear into thin air. That's the real mystery. Dress, white gloves, black sunglasses. Are there sunglasses here? I don't see any sunglasses. I don't see any sunglasses. You must have to get them from a different place. Annoying. Uh, okay, where do you get this costume though? Now I'm pissed. I thought, like... I can't dance without my costume. Where is it? Did someone take it? I don't understand. Check. Gave Prudence a call. I got a hairpin. Check. I got the pigeon. Check. All done. There must be a reason I found the keeps of music Still box. Still have to do that. Get the password from this computer. Find out how to get that darn pigeon to the tracking device. Found Did the that. pigeon, got Did the that. dumpster, translate Did the letter, that. mate Enrico Tots. Get on his good side. Find a microscope and black sunglasses. Buy some sunglasses so I can complete I my do disguise. I haven't done that. Which are where? Maybe at the market? God, all of my fucking euros are just gone. This isn't the one I was looking for. Maybe it's Composan Marguerite. What's it for Mosa? Have I been here yet? What do we got? That's this the costume store. Okay. It's a really run down co costume store. I don't like the look of it at all. 
There we go. There we go.